Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video I'm going to show you guys what I purchased for my birthday. My birthday just passed on June 25th and I went to the outlets in Orlando. I did do a video prior just showing you guys the ins and outs of the outlet but I didn't show you guys what I purchased for myself. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, make sure you hit that like button guys and share this video it's super simple i didn't go overboard but i did strategically shop um i'm just at a point where i'm just not gonna just buy bags because it's new however i am gonna shop and buy bags and clothes and things that i actually need in my wardrobe so because i noticed that in the past years i have purchase things and never worn them so i'm sure a lot of you guys have done that too so, so let me just jump right into let you guys see so i did purchase two bags um and i purchased three pair of sunglasses strategically okay <laughs> and i purchased um just a few pieces of clothing and a perfume that a friend of mine's recommended and she did say that it's really hard to find and I literally was checking out at the counter at Off Saks and there it was. And I was just like, let me get it. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Oh, and I bought a wallet. So I'm gonna jump right in. So I'm gonna start with the sunglasses that I purchased. And like I said, I got three pairs. I got a Fendi pair and I got a Celine pair, which you guys can't see, I'll show you guys. And I got a, I think they call called Key, Key Australia. It's the high key ones, which I've been wanting for some time. I just wasn't able to find them and try them on. I am not an aviator girl. However, I do <laughs> like, I like them, but they just never seem to fit me right. So I did purchase these guys. And let me tell you, I guess these are the, anybody in the, can comment in the comment section um i think these when when they say high key i think these are the largest ones and i wish i had known this before because i would have purchased them before let me tell you i am not a aviated girl but i absolutely love these what do you guys think and they have like a little bit of like i guess like a gold trimming um and it's gold trimming around the top also. And the lens, it's black, actually. Y'all know I'm getting, oh, 41. <laughs> so it's gold all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's gold, let's see. It's gold all the way around here. But looking at it straight on, it looks black, if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, but these were, I believe, 69 yeah these were these were these were and i saw these at the mall in miami aventura um i didn't get to record inside because it was just so it was so crowded in there and then i got this case um they did have a clear case which wasn't really my cup of tea but it was a little bit harder than this case but i did like the white case so those are those and then I got the Fendi ones and these I love now I was actually going to purchase this Gucci pair um but for some reason I just I don't know the symbol on the side was so big <laughs> that I just was like it, I mean, it's not that serious for me. Um, so I, I, I found these Fendi ones. That's, it has a really small. Oh God, is it gonna? Is it gonna? Um, oh, there it go. It's a really small F, double F on both sides, and these are more my speed. <laughs> these are so much more my speed. It's really thin. It's really you know understated. You can't really tell and they're perfect for my face now i personally think that i have a large face 
but the lady at the makeup counter, she said no. <laughs> she just said that I have high cheekbones. So, but I, I feel like these look better on me. They're really big, but they're also thin. They're not like a super thick frame, like the edging and stuff on it. So let me know what you guys think about these. And these were actually on my list. I just didn't know where I was gonna find them. And I actually found these at Off Sacks, honestly. And these were for the low low. I think 169. Yeah. 169. Um they're super, they're super simple. I, I like them a lot. So that's these. And then like I said, I didn't go overboard. It's just so I needed a black pair that was bigger than the pair that I have here. That are these are smaller. I wanted something bigger. Okay, so I try not to get too many. Um, I had a brown pair of Chloe glasses and I totally broke them. So I needed to purchase a new brown pair. And I did, and I bought some Celine's. And they came in this case. And I absolutely, like I'm telling you, that particular day, God was on my side because I I know I needed a brown and a black pair of glasses. The aviators were cheaper, so I wasn't really thinking about them, but when I saw them and tried them on, I was really happy because I actually really liked the way they look on me. Most of the time, the aviators, I don't know, they're either too small here or they come in too far, and it's just not my cup of tea. So I got these Celine's, very simple. Um, Super simple. It just has, of course, their three dots, which is their signature on the side. And these are, I think they call the quarter, sh quarter, sh quarter something. I I'll get the name. <laughs> um, design color. Because they're not like a straight brown. But I also love these. The reason why is because they're big. And they're really, the symbol and stuff is small. It's not too big. Um, like I said, something that I prefer. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. These. Okay. <laughs> and I also got these from Off Sacks. And these were the same price, $169. Yeah. And I really like these because, like I said, they're they're big enough for, for me and my face. And, of course, they come with the, you know, the cleaning pads. So did the... Um, the Fendi ones, the Fendi ones has a pretty blue color and the Celine's, it's black. Okay, so then the perfume that I purchased was um, Balenciaga Flora Botanica. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know. <clears throat> So my friend had this on one day and she smelled so good. Like, she smelled like, I don't know, it was very fresh. Um, and, you know, she did say that it's really hard to find, but like I said, I just so happened to be walking out and saw it at the counter. And the lady, I don't know what she did, but she was like, let me give you a discount. She gave me like $75 off, so, this was 99, so pretty much this is like basically free. So here's the bottle. It's red on one side, and it has like purple lining here, and then of course the top. So the top, it looks like one full top because it's stripes, but it's cut in half <laughs> like this. Oh my God, yes. Oh, let me spray this. Oh, let me not spray that. Oh my goodness, yes! This smells so... I didn't want to spray here because I have a shirt here. Oh my goodness, this smells so good, guys. And like I said, if you find this, I would recommend picking this up. Let me see. Uh, this is the... What is this? 3.3 fluid ounce. This is the parfum. And guys, 
Yes. She smelled so good that day. And I and I and I kind of forgot about it until I saw it on the counter and was like, oh wow. Um, so that's the perfume. Let me just show you guys really quick again. That's the perfume. <laughs> And then I have the purse, sorry, the wallet that I purchased from Versace. Now, when I went to the outlet, I was looking for a black bag with a gold chain. Something practical, something that I could use every day. Nothing too big and definitely not too small. So I purchased the Fendi, not the Fendi, the Prada bag. I purchased the Prada bag, loved it left the store. When I got back to my hotel and I tried it on again, it it was a cute, really, it's a really nice bag. However, it wasn't practical for something if I wanted to wear every day. Um, or just like stuff, stuff in it. So they said that they were only gonna do exchanges or store credit. I was fine with it um, because they had um, some other stuff that I thought was really nice. So I, before I went there, I, I'm sorry, I read the receipt and it said only exchange. The lady said, oh no, you can return and get a full refund. I was like, oh, perfect. So I ran back to the hotel. But before I did, I went to Versace because I didn't go the first day I went there because it was so, it was just so, I don't know, it was just really crowded that day. Um, a lot of people were off work. Um, so I went to Versace and they had a nice bag, like a really nice bag, a simple bag, something that I could wear every day. So I did get a wallet because I was looking for a wallet too. Um, got my nail broke and my pinky nail broke. I'm going to the nail salon today. And I'm gonna tell them that I think it's the white SNS powder because every time I get it, it always cracks. Every single time. They all, like every single nail has like, like a, some sort of like line across it. All right, so here is the wallet. It's so cute. So it's a quilted Versace wallet. It just has the small um, head right there. Super simple. Um, they did have the one with the V. I didn't want that one. I wanted one a little bit more subtle, like I said. Um, it does have, I believe it's six. One, two, three. Yeah, six card holder spaces. Uh, it also has, you can probably put another card in here and something else behind here. And the same on the opposite side as well. Then you have a space for some dollars. Do you guys carry cash? So I had a conversation with my little sister about carrying cash and here's the place for the coins. I'm so glad I got a small wallet because I am guilty of just putting every piece of coin that I have in my wallet. So this will limit me out. And then of course it comes with the Versace authentication card. Yeah. Which is here. And it has like a barcode and all the other good stuff in there. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we were talking about carrying cash and not a lot of money, but probably $50 maybe, maybe a hundred for emergencies. Um, I thought it was a pretty good idea. Some people may do just do 20, but I think it's a good idea to have some cash on you. Um, not a whole lot. So it, like I said, it comes in that box. Let me know what you guys think about that. And the wallet, where's my paper? The wallet was, 285 yes 285 sorry guys yep and this is called the I kept the box for a reason because it's on the box it's the Porta oh my god my vision Porta, for, I don't know, P-O-R-T-A-F-O-G-L-I-O-N, and then Napa, and then Trap Puntata, something like that, <laughs> plus Napa. <laughs> I'm gonna put everything in the description bar for you guys. <sighs> because it's at the outlet, 
you may not find it. Or you may find it on a pre-love site. Yes. Okay. All right, so that's that. And let's put that here. I'm gonna hold on to this before I forget. Okay, let's put, I don't wanna forget that. Then, I'm just gonna get to the clothes since they're sitting here. I did purchase from Vince, I went to Vince. Now Vince is a pretty pricey for certain things. However, they do have, to me, a really good quality of clothing. So I purchased like, let me stand up for you guys. You probably won't be able to see me, but I purchased like this really pretty lush pink like camisole. Um, the straps at the top are black. So you can either wear it by itself or wear it with just a pair of jeans and some pumps or something. This was $195, but I think it was 70% off. So I think I paid like 48 bucks for this one. Um, and it's a pretty satin. Then I purchased some pants. You guys probably can't even see this. And these are just some, like, I don't even know the material of these. But they're like a pretty cream. And when I tell you they fit me extremely long, guys, um, these were, I got a size medium. I have the style number, so I am going to do my best to find them online for you guys. And these were, these are a size medium. I'm not being alive. These are 325, but I think I paid 140 for them. But the reason why I got them is because I, you guys know I'm tall and I struggle with finding clothes and I just have to do it. I can't walk around with high waters. And then I just purchased like a cute little like top, like a crop top. Um, yeah. And this was 195 also, which came down to like 70. Yeah. That one wasn't 70% off. So I got those three things. And then let's get to the Versace bag that I purchased. Okay. <laughs> so let me do a thumbnail picture. All right. <laughs> so when you go to the outlet, the only store that doesn't give you a bag with the logo on it is YSL. They just give you like a black bag. And I think I showed you guys that in the last video. So here is the bag. Oh my God. Let me tell you, Chanel, I want a Chanel bag. I want three Chanel bags. However, the price increases to me, mm, they're not really worth it. Um, I, I, some ladies were saying that they think, you know, they're trying to not market to a certain audience, which I can personally, I can see that. Um, and what they're gonna try to do is make it to where certain people can't get it. But then you have the pre-love market, and I think the pre-love market is a great way to get it. I think a lot of women who purchase bags all the time, um, they swap them out. So there's an opportunity for people who don't wanna pay $8,000 for a Chanel bag, um, you know, to get them. And pretty much in really good condition. So there's a chain on here. And I'm gonna take off all this, uh, this stuff, because I'm gonna actually pop in a picture too of that Prada bag. Cause it was nice. And that Prada bag was 11.50 or something like that. 11.30, 11.50, one of the two. Um, yeah. This is kind of hard to come off. And guys, I had to get on a plane with this stuff. So what I did was I purchased like a duffel bag, regular old Adidas duffel bag. Um, because I wanted to be a little discreet because I had a bunch of stuff in there. And I just purchased a regular duffel bag. 
and I just put it in there and packed it. And I'll be honest. So I flew Delta and going, I had no issue. I was sitting in the seat right behind the exit door, but right in front of me, there's no seat. There's two seats pretty much next to that. So I had like, my legs were able to like stretch out um, and just kind of like, you know, be free. And I had my purse in my lap or whatever. And, um, you know, they didn't say anything about it, about my purse being in my lap. Cause I'm thinking it's your personal item, right? It shouldn't be away from you. And you know, everything was cool. <clears throat> On the way back, this lady, she was so, she just was a mean, a mean little lady. Okay, so it comes with the dust bag. You guys can't see it, but it's just the logo, Versace on the front. The uh, dust bag is very, very soft. Um, very soft. And here's the bag. So you can wear it two ways. Um, I'm not sure how long the drop is. Um, and then you can wear it like this. Let me stand up. This is more practical for me. And it's not a heavy bag. <clears throat> so I have it crossbody on me now. The Prada one did not sit like this. It actually sat a lot higher. Um, so this is crossbody. You guys know I'm six feet. So it's hitting right at my thigh area. All right. Um, if I wanted to do it this way, I would just wear it like this. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could wear it on my shoulder. It's not, it's bigger than the Prada, um, but I I, uh, I would prefer to wear this every day opposed to the Prada one. The Prada one was really nice though. The chain was thicker, um, but this is really, really nice, guys. Really nice. Okay, and then inside of the bag, there's just one pocket. Uh, again, it comes with the authentication card, which is here. And one thing I did like about the lady who I worked with at Versace um, she, um, when she puts you in the system, she puts in everything with the bag number and stuff. And pretty much she was saying, like, if I had lost my receipt, I still would have been in the system. Um, and also this bag is called the B O guys, B O R S A N S A N and then Napa, and it's the same. So it's because it's the same quilted, it's just pretty much the same uh, style. And then it has Versace tag in here. Um, it does have a barcode in here. It has, what else? Um, serial number, article number. Um, and then it says like the NF, what is this? The N, wait, tap. NFC Medusa tag to verify your product's authenticity. Oh, so there is a barcode on that and you can tap it to make sure that it's authentic. How cool is that? And then again, it just has the small Medusa head. Now, I'm not a Medusa person, <laughs> but I like this a little bit better than the V on the other bag. Um, and I, I think it's really cute. And it has a little bit of black in the middle. Um, and then it's just gold. So, that's that, guys. And let me put that back in that dust bag. Okay. And I usually pack them inside my closet where all my um, bags are. I'm just going to adjust some stuff, adjust some shelves in there. Um, so that's that. Actually, I didn't put this back in. And then finally, 
finally, finally, I got, and this was last minute. So, for a while I've been wanting a YSL, um, ooh, sunset bag. And I kind of feel like it's always gonna be there, right? That's how I feel. Um, but that's probably gonna be the second bag, well, the third bag that I buy this year. Actually, what did I buy this year? One, two, three, four, five. Five bags, but they were like clutches. So that don't count. <laughs> and then I purchased a Gucci bag. Um, going to Gucci is like, hmm. I, I, I don't like going to the Gucci outlet. I really don't. Um, it's always crowded and I just, I just don't. Uh, I do have quite a few Gucci bags and they are very subtle too. Um, they're from the Soho Soho line and they are, they have the GGs on them, but it's the same. It's almost like my YSL where it's like engraved in the bag where you really can't see it. So here is the Gucci bag. So I did say I was being strategic, right? <laughs> I needed a, I have a red Gucci bag, but it's really a crossover bag. It's not a bag where I could wear it with shoes. This I love. You can wear this bag two ways. Like this. And there is a chain on the inside. This bag is running from what I've seen, almost three thousand dollars. But that's the one with the GGs all over it. So I am assuming that this one is more because it's all leather. Um, inside of the bag looks like this. Okay. Uh, very pretty. It's a very, very pretty bag. They had green and black. Um, I went for the red one because it's like a reddish burgundy uh, because I needed another red bag. <clears throat> so here's the strap. Uh, what's this? This is like a little tag, serial number, all that good stuff. <clears throat> it has the Gucci booklet in here with all that stuff, the regular stuff that you usually get. Um, and again, here's the inside of the bag. I think it's a really good size. Yeah, it's very pretty, like suede on the inside. And then you close it like that. And there is a little hole here for a key. So let me show you guys that. So here is the chain that it comes with. The guy was really, really helpful. He was so funny. He's like, I had another uh, red Gucci bag, but it was very plain. And he was like, do you want to make a statement or do you want to be regular? And I already had saw the bag uh, the day before. And um, like I said, the first day I went to the outlet, I was just really looking around because I knew I was going to go back early in the morning um, when there was no one really in there. So here's the chain. Yes, guys. And let me take this off here. And um, yeah, if I were you guys to take a trip, I did go to Orlando like a couple of months ago. Um, all right, so it has one, two, three, four, five different holes to change the, the length in it. And then it has the two hooks to hook it on to the bag. Okay, so on here, there's a little, I don't know, you guys see that? It's like a little thing. You push it down. I was struggling. Um, push it down. Hook it on the bag. Come on. That's because I got some big hands too. All right. 
let's do the other side. And I think Prada, okay, in order, I think YSL, then Prada, Gucci, then Versace has really good chains. So here's the thing with the keys that's in it. We'll pull it out. So let's wrap that also around here too. Time on this video so here's the bag let me stand up again I'm in my closet guys so here's the bag let me tell you <laughs> this bag <laughs> this is such a nice bag and it hits um, I, maybe a tad longer than the Versace the Versace one um, let me know what you guys think. I love it. Like, totally, totally love it. And like I said, you can wear it two ways. If you want it, you can just wear it without the chains and just wear it as a top handle if that's what you want to do. All right? And that's it. That's what I purchased. Oh, and this was... Mm. 1790 or 1760 and like I said I think it retails for like 3,000 probably more because this is the full leather one okay I, I just love it like it doesn't have any pockets or anything on the back but it does have like three little gold things here then the two here. it's actually the little edging on each side What do you guys think? And then it has enough. And actually, so where it hit me at, it's on the third one, the middle one. And you guys know that I'm six feet, so it fits me perfect. But that's it, guys. Um, and it just says, says Gucci on the front, like really, really, really small across there, really small. Um, if you like videos like this, please comment below. Um, like I said, this was for my birthday. I just wanted to purchase some things for myself that I needed in my closet. Um, I'm going to do a better job at not just like impulse shopping. I think I've been doing pretty good. Um, as far as these shirts that I got from Versace, they were, um, they were essential because there's they're regular like tops um i think a lot of people struggle with shirts and stuff <laughs> i know i do so for me that was a plus to get these on sale but if you like videos like this please comment below don't forget to don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and i will see you guys in the next one and guys i did do a blog post on like shopping my visit to the outlet so go check that out at the link below and don't forget don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco underscore styles underscore ny and i will see you guys in the next one bye